Alex. Alex. And we're here at Panorama Festival 2012 presenting our installation We See Fireworks. So we probably really started making work together in about 2005 where we started to realise that our two visions have something better together than they have apart, maybe. And uh, so he, Alex's uh, skill is very much uh, sound, starting first with sound, audio, and then going into how light can be used to illustrate the sound. And mine is a curatorial practice, so I'm really good at generating amazing stories from people and then finding like a hypertext, if you like, the bigger story from the small stories. Mm -hmm. And so We See Fireworks is a piece that was my idea. Um, and I always really loved vintage light bulbs, like the way that you can see the electricity firing them up. And so we started with the stories and then began to realise that you need something to concentrate on when you're in the darkness listening to stories, to audio. People don't listen, they can't concentrate if you don't have something to focus on. And so the light became a reason to get people to stay, to be seduced into staying in the dark for a while. And then we got more, I got into collecting fire, uh, these beautiful light bulbs that then reminded me of fireworks, which then reminded me of memory and the way that the memory fires and then explodes and then disappears. E não era uma performance, mas era uma imagem forte e que de vez em quando me volta quando eu tenho que me dosar no encontro com o mundo assim. Né? Você tem que ser tanta coisa ao mesmo tempo e aquela imagem me vem como um ícone, aquela nudez, uma bota de couro alta, preta. Because I think actually things are very similar around the world. I mean, we tell our stories differently, certainly, but I think we have the same things we care about. So in the end, we're talking about love or death or family or, you know, something that makes us laugh or makes us feel something strongly. And actually, that's very human and we all share it. So in a way, I think in Brazil, it's been interesting because people like to talk, they like to tell stories. And in the UK, say, people are a lot more conservative and they maybe don't tell the stories in the same way. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you think, Alex. Mm -hmm. think? Um, yeah, there's a lot of commonality, I suppose, so that the, you can find strong lines of similarity sort of everywhere you go. I think the thing that's kind of good about it though is all the little bits that you just don't find anywhere else. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm trying to think actually. So, one, there's like one story which is, we had here, which was about um, a, a girl was dancing for a, a guy who, who he hadn't had plucked up courage to ask her out and he kept looking at her and then he found out later once he got the courage to ask her out that she was dancing for him but it's kind of one of those things that mm -hmm. I sort of went well actually in the UK that wouldn't happen people don't try and you know they'll ask to dance together straight away they won't just stand there going I'm dancing for you at a distance yeah so there's little little things which uh, kind of make the, the, the story really interesting for us and also you know and we, and we only had to sort of try and understand that from somebody translating and going well what was happening what was happening so yeah. we've had quite a lot of depth trying to figure out whether they are um, we get this the common bit is trying to find out what they're actually saying or, you know does it is it good does it make sense you know was it mm. is it you know being told really passionately or not or you know mm. so that, and that story was told in quite not really passionately but what came out was that it was among the most important things that ever happened to him so <laughs> it, you know so that, yeah. that that's been a really interesting thing being here 
I also think the other thing that is really incredible, and you maybe don't notice that whilst you're recording, you hear it more when you listen back and you start to choose and edit the recordings, how much it's really true that the location that you're in influences the stories. So what will be amazing for us is when we go back to the UK, we will hear those stories and they will conjure instantly this place, you know. So there's a story, for instance, about a woman in a street in Sao Paulo and it's talking about this prostitute who's naked, wearing these long leather boots, performing in effect for the crowd. Um, and again, in the UK, we would get somewhere around that but the whole feeling of that street and the people that are you know out in that street that night having you know drinking gathering together in the street and this one solitary woman in the midst of that is a very it's a Sao Paulo story it couldn't really happen anywhere os olhos o ritmo tô tentando captar coisas imperceptíveis no meio da multidão em Tóquio é ótimo fazer isso. Eu estava num bairro que chama Shibuya, que é uma loucura. Que eu acho que eu nunca tinha vivido essa experiência de, de caos. E todo mundo é muito parecido. E ao mesmo tempo é muito diferente. Eu convidei uma, uma bailarina para fazer uma, uma intervenção na rua, uma noite. E ela topou. A gente não tinha muita proximidade. Ela, na verdade, nem era bailarina do do grupo que eu danço, ela estava lá acompanhando o marido dela, que é iluminador. E ela topou. É, foi intuitivo da minha parte e ela topou fazer a intervenção. Eu expliquei mais ou menos o que estava querendo, que era ser invisível no meio da, das pessoas, com gestos, abstrações, movimentos. E ela também intuitivamente entendeu o que eu estava querendo dizer, mas eu não estava tentando, eu não estava conseguindo me expressar. It's, it's really, I think again, the thing that's very human about what we're doing is we're asking people to tell us stories and a whole and to re remember. And and as soon as you try to do that, there's stuff that's really happened, and then there's the stuff that you've made up and that isn't at all real, but is al almost potentially part of your false memory or is part of what makes a good story. Um, and then you have this uh, scenario where, you know, those, the text, the kind of different memories, fake memory, real memory, builds up. And, but what's also happening in We See Fireworks, and I think, again, the light bulbs help you do that in a way. If you sit by yourself in that space and listen to a story that you like and you like very much maybe and potentially it's told really well by the person and they care about it it becomes your memory too so you then end up believing yeah. <laughs> maybe that that memory is your memory so it's the viral nature of, of storytelling but also for me fundamentally the viral nature of performance you know, it's um, a very solitary thing to sit in an audience and watch something. You're you're processing that just yourself. You're in a room of other people who are doing exactly the same thing. Each person has a very, very different, you know, maybe similar, but there's still very different understanding of what's happening. And, and so, in a way, we build up this picture together over time. So, I don't know, I think that's what's happening. And that's why we call it We See Fireworks because like fireworks, they kind of explode and then they leave this kind of trace in the air somehow. Yeah, and it's kind of interesting, isn't it? Often you become very creative when you're in the midst of making one thing, you're thinking about making another thing. And so, yeah, we, we have, whilst we've been here, begun to imagine a new piece of work in which maybe has some similarities to We See Fireworks, but it won't be will be audio and it will be sound and it will be about the remnants of performance but I think it will be uh, much more about breath and the movement of people in a space mm -hmm. so again the ghosts of people walking in a space and maybe dancing in a space so informed by seeing all so some of the amazing work we've seen in Panorama so we'll see in the next two years, two, three years <laughs> yeah. where that might go Ha, ha, ha.